find the zeros of this function using graphing techniques um, for, for this uh, quadratic function. The um, axis of symmetry is uh, opposite of b over 2a. Um, we derive this in class uh, looking at the quadratic formula and, and the midpoints. Um, for this particular quadratic, a um, equals 1, the coefficient of my squared term, um, b equals 2, and c equals negative 8. So if I'm looking at the opposite of b, that would be a negative 2 divided by 2 times 1. Um, negative 2 divided by positive 2 is equal to negative 1. So the line x equals negative 1 right here is my axis of symmetry. Um, and if I'm going to create a table of values here and plot this trying to find the zeros, I could have my x values and then I could have my functional values. Um, and if I, I consider um, x equals negative 1, then I might go to 0, 1, 2. And I might go to negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And I, might, I might need to go further. Uh, when I plug negative 1 into this function, right, I get negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 8, which looks like, uh, let's see, that would be negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10 plus 1 is negative 9. So this gives me a negative 9. Oh, that's terrible. I've written that. This equals negative 9. So on this line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's really a 9. It is. That's, that's 9. X is 9. And uh, Let's uh, move out from there. So if I plug 0 into this function, right, this is going to give me negative 8. That's not difficult for me to handle. So at 0, I'm at negative 8. If I go to 1, uh, this function becomes 1 squared plus 2 minus 8. So it looks like 3 minus 8 or negative 5. So I'm at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's the number negative 5. And if I'm at 2, that would be 2 squared plus 2 times. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Because that's 4 plus 4 minus 8. That is 0. So at 2, I'm at my 0 right here. OK, what's nice about this is because this is my axis of symmetry, I don't need to compute the other ones, right? I know what they have to be. And, and I might compute them just in case I'm like, I think I made a mistake, but I think I'm good here. So I bet that point matches. Um, this point has to match. And then the final point that would have to match would be right here. So based on this graph, right, these are this function clearly has integer solutions, right? My zeros occur when x is um, positive 2. And when x is equal to negative 1, 2, 3, negative 4. So these are the zeros of this function. Uh, you know, I, I encourage you to uh, use your table of values, use your calculator uh, to the graph to find all these things much more quickly.